I was most definitely not as outspoken as I was. I was not as confident as I am right now. I wouldn't really try to stand out and that's still an issue I battle with. So Tomorrow's Leaders is a nonprofit organization that specializes in helping children that are over age in their specific grades or have been left back for whatever reason. They just make it their mission to isolate those children and kind of like help with their social, emotional development to make sure they know their worth and they don't feel basically less than or like they feel like failures. These students need Tomorrow's Leaders because they feel safe, they feel seen, they feel loved. We provide the resources that they need to show up as their best selves. Most of the neighborhoods that I lived in have been rough um, as far as like violence or drug use and things like that everywhere. I've been to three or four elementary schools due to moving around and stuff. Two high schools now, which I'd never like changing high schools. Simply because, you know, you got to get into a new environment. People already made clicks, so it's hard to be able to connect with people. I grew up in DR. Um, I have a family of 70 members. It was pretty, like, pretty hard, but like, look where it got me. I wasn't, like, able to speak uh, or present my ideas or share my thoughts on the topics, so they helped me, like, grow on that. Throughout the program, I've definitely changed. I've been forced to at least put a foot out my shell. A lot of the times I've been forced to communicate with people and just really voice my opinions and my needs. The most rewarding part about seeing students going through Tomorrow's Leaders program is to see the transformation, to see how they enter the program and then how they develop, how they take initiative themselves to be participants in their community, to show up as their best selves, to do well in school outside of the program. For me, being a leader means also being a follower. Because like, if you know what it meant to be a follower and like be in those shoes, you can lead in a way that it's on the same level. Mentorship is super important because it shows people the pathway of whatever dreams or career aspirations that they have. Mentorship allows them to partner with a person that does what they want to do. And that's the best way to learn. It helps you to reach your goals that some may seem unattainable sometimes. So mentorship is very powerful. These students, they need somebody who's not assessing them to care about them. Even in this academic support program that we do, these students build relationships with us and they get excited to see us. Ms. Sabata, she's the one who helped me get into Tomorrow's Leaders because she thought that I would have a big growth as a person. I know that I wanted to go places. Um, I know that I don't want to be like my family. My mother is the only one out of all her siblings to graduate high school. I don't think any of my grandparents even made it into high school. I definitely wanted to not be like them. I know I was going to go places, I just didn't know where. While growing up, I've always been interested in law, and so I figured why not become a lawyer. I want to be a CEO because it will help me start a business. I'm thankful for to most leaders because they helped me discover skills that I didn't know I had and I grew fun of helping the community more. Thank you Mr. Toyin, thank you Tomorrow's Leaders. This program is really wonderful, it's godsend. I think what you're trying to do here is very beautiful. Even if people don't realize it, it is impactful, it is inspirational and I hope you keep doing that. Thank you, Tomorrow's Leaders, um, especially to Toyin, the director, for giving me a chance at not making the same mistakes that I know a lot of my friends have made, my parents, my family, and giving me somewhere to go when there was nowhere else to go. Sometimes, you know, there's like 30 kids in a classroom, and that one specific kid that we're working with, they don't have a voice in that room. And we're giving them a voice when they come in our room.